So good morning and welcome. Today we're going to go through the radiographic inspection part of the CSWIP 3.2.2 examination. So this is a bolt-on to the standard 3.2.1. And we're going to go through what's involved and where it might be challenging. Uh, the first thing here to really state, and I, I don't think it's really communicated well enough, is that do not go for this supplementary exam unless you're really happy to review radiographs. Um, there is little to no training given during the uh, the three point two course, and this is seen as an additional thing on top of it, not part of the main course. So we do talk about radiography in quite a wide sense, but we don't go into the detail that you would need to do for your um, your your multi choice examination. Now the multi choice examination is another part of this. We'll do later or the theory part of the exam, is 30 minutes and you get 20 questions. And that goes through quite a lot of things, which we'll, we'll cover in a later video. But this one, we're going to talk about the practical part. So actually reviewing some radiographs and how that goes together. So what is the exam uh, going to be? Like I say, it's a supplementary part of the exam. It's added at the end of your normal senior welding inspection paper and what you'll be given is an hour and 40 minutes and in that hour and 40 minutes you need to review 10 radiographs now these radiographs are broken down into five section five questions each and they will follow a general pattern being a sensitivity question a technique defect, an acceptance criteria, and a welding process type question. Uh, and that's what we'll go through now. So when you open up your exam, you'll be given uh, an image. And with that image, you'll be given an amount of information. So you can see here, We've got a, a weld where we can see IQI, some size markings, um, the material, welding process, joint type, etc. is given to you. So you're not going to have to count back, well, how many wires can I actually see? Um, it, you, you're told that, so it's, it's fairly consistent for everybody in the exam. You then get a, a series of questions with that. So we're going to have, you know, is the image quality acceptable to the specification given? So in the CSWIP 3.2.1 exam, you're given a, a spec, you know, 50, 60 pages long. So you'll have to go to the radiographic part of that specification, read through and find which wire you're expecting to see through your penetrated thickness and then answer the question. Can I see the right amount of wires, the, the right IQI? You may then get a shot such as this. Well, what is this type of shot? And you'll be expected to kind of work through the logic of, well, I'm given the material thickness, but no diameter. So I'll assume this is a plate. So this would be a single wall, single image. What defect can be seen? You've got to make a judgment call on, on what you can see in there. So here we can see a few bits of slag running along the, um, the, the tour of one of the welds. And I know it's slags and not gas pores, for instance, because I'm using MMA. Is this weld acceptable or not? So again, we'd go back to our specification and click and, and we'll click you know decide um which if it's acceptable or not based on our acceptance criteria and then what the welding process question here is what may have created this so you'll get a few multi-choices around you know is it because of poor welder technique incomplete cleaning um 
is it because their electrodes are damp? You know, there's there's lots of different multi choices that can come from there, and you pick the best one. That in all is really what the practical part is. Ten images, five questions per image, so fifty questions total to answer in about one and a half hours, one hour forty minutes. Um make our way through you're given the standard information for the material the welding process a diameter visible wire etc um and you make the best calls you can given on the specification so i hope that helps with people who are about to sit the 3.2 but again i personally would say if you're not reviewing radiographs often and you're not involved in the process I, w I would advise just to do the 3.2.1 and then maybe do the, the Rad and Terp uh, exam as a, a standalone, either with PCN or with c Swap or ESNT or, or something like that. Get the training and then be in a, an easier position in the exam because for this one, you will be going in really only with your own knowledge and experience to, to back you up. But if you choose to do it, good luck. And that brings this very short video to a, 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 a quick end. Um, I'm traveling a lot over that and have been over the last couple of weeks. Um, so hopefully coming into December, we'll do some longer form videos tackling some of the major parts of weld inspection and weld engineering. But as always, stay safe and good luck with your studies.